Tower woman given just months to live is now three years on planning to run the London Marathon. Lorraine Wilby has been undergoing a pioneering new treatment which works by injecting a modified herpes virus directly into her cancer tumours. She says the trial has given her hope and means she no longer thinks about dying. Our science correspondent Martin Stew has been given exclusive access to this groundbreaking British research. Grandma, is the final battle? Lorraine lives for laughs with her the grandson Adrian. Battle? I'm watching. When cancer spread from her eye to her it's liver, the final battle on the series. she was told it was terminal and they may have just a year left together. When they phoned me and said they'd found eight tumours on my liver, um, then it would just, well, I, I broke down. Come and have a lie down on the table. We just need your head in the headrest. That call was three years ago, and she's still going strong. Happy? Yeah, thank you. There we go. Today at the Clatterbridge Cancer Centre in Liverpool, scans show her tumours have shrunk 60% the result of a pioneering trial injecting a vaccine directly into the diseased areas. So what we have here are cross sections through the liver and from here, which is uh, to a year later, you can see a dramatic reduction in the size of these tumours. But importantly, we're also seeing that for these ones that are highlighted in yellow and these are ones that haven't actually been injected. So the, the body's own immune system has been triggered? Absolutely, and that's really what we're aiming to do. Just marking the skin to know where we need to go. The treatment is called oncolytic virotherapy, a new form of immunotherapy. Doctors use ultrasound to precisely guide a large needle into the cancerous area. We've put a needle into the edge of the tumour and that's the tip of the needle there. Then an altered dose of the herpes virus is injected. It was developed using technology pioneered for the COVID jab and it acts like a hyper-focused vaccine. Because cancers are so different, a generic vaccine into the arm wouldn't really work. But by injecting a targeted virus directly into the tumour, you can not only attack the tumour, but you can also trigger the patient's immune system. Unlike traditional vaccines, it's given to people who are already ill rather than preemptively. Trials are at an early stage, but initial results are promising. Whilst the treatment is unlikely to fully replace chemo and radiotherapy, it could work on previously untreatable cancers, particularly those which have spread. The virus is not specific to a particular cancer type, and actually therefore we can use it potentially in all cancers. I think that means that we're in a situation where we can start understanding how to treat patients that we've struggled to treat in the past. And that obviously as an oncologist is all, is all that we set out to do. We're all done. You can relax your arms down, lovely. Lorraine isn't fully cured, but is well enough to train for the London Marathon. She's raising money for a hospice she now hopes she won't need for many more years. This trial has given me hope and faith in the treatment, the trial, uh, my care. And I'm happy I don't look at me dying now, I look at me surviving till the next lot of treatment and getting through that. Don't think about dying anymore at all. Doctors hope the treatment could be widely available within a couple of years. Music to the ears of patients like Lorraine and their loved ones. Martin Stew, ITV News, Liverpool.